A very warm welcome to another episode of Thomas Musket Television. Just completed um, the Tatton Park Half Marathon. Just got a medal on here, just another another nice medal. Don't know if you can if you can see that Tatton Park's just got a um, nice picture of a couple of sheep in the corner resembling a Cheshire countryside. Um, it's my second second half marathon. The other one was um, in Warrington for the English half marathon in 2017, and I, I managed. I'm very I'm very happy to have not seven minutes off my time from four years ago to finish the Tatton half marathon in one hour 39 minutes and 31 seconds. Um, I'm over the moon because I've not been able to push on in training since um, um, I, I occurred a quadriceps strain. I think it was sometime at the early February. So it's put me right back when I was doing doing more running. I was doing extra running with the gym being closed with the, in the lockdown, and I was coming along nicely. Um, so. It put me back. I rushed back too soon and ended up um, it going again. And then so I, I took very small steps back to. I, I wasn't even doing any um, putting any in even in training more than you know seventy eighty percent effort just to you know kind of wrapping wrapping the leg up in cotton wool so to speak just to make sure that I, I could at least you know compete and do the half marathon yesterday. So um, to uh, me, my minimum target was to make sure um, I beat the one forty six, which would have been you know pretty comfortable, like before the injury. But it became you know something what um, just make sure I get it ticked off. And before the injury, I was definitely looking at going under one forty, but wasn't sure if this. If if I could maintain the pace with me not pushing myself in training, um, for at least a couple of months, so to get break the one forty, um, the the watch, me me Tom Tom Spark watch, um, you can see it, there, is, um, was a big help because I never used to have one, I just used to wait for the official results, and then um, so it helped me, you know, control my pace throughout, um. I soon settled into a good rhythm, um, hovering around four forty-five kilometer mark consistently, and um, if I let if it dropped to four forty-six, I'd I'd just get it back because anyone who knows how the watch works, I have it on average pace. Like so, um, the the further you go into the run, the more steady. Like you know, it, it'll be it'll be harder either way to. Um, to move, like the time will be, you know, the first kilometre or two, like it's kind of, you know, it's like, you know, all over the place a bit at first, first few hundred metres especially, then it'll, the watch will settle into, you know, um, it'll be hard, like, you know, to, like, I mean, you're not going to, for example, move it from, say, 4.45 to 4.43 in, in 200 metres when you've run 17k, it'd take, you know, a good, a good two or three kilometres at that point to even, Move the average pace, like up or down. So, um, managed to settle into a good rhythm, keeping it at four forty-five, and I felt great at fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Um, lots of fuel in the tank, but just making sure the wheels don't come off, so to speak. And um, so, making sure you know I don't have a problem, any problem with my leg. Any for anyone who knows running long distance. Half marathon marathons, you can feel great, but you can soon, you know, something can go. Your your quad, your calf, your Achilles tendon, you know, something is is you're hammering into the ground at a lot bigger force than walking. You know, you're doing you're doing probably like at least twenty thousand steps. It's, I think I think I did twenty two thousand steps. It is in the half marathon. It's a lot of force on all your joints, ligaments, tendons, and muscles in the legs. So I felt great, but I was still. I was saving myself. I thought, get to 19k, 
19k, 20k, the last kilometre or two. And, you know, then see from either hanging on for dear life or kind of push, kind of just, kind of push on at some point, even if with, you know, a few hundred metres to go, which I managed to do as we turned the bend off the road for the final time and then so back into Tatton Park grounds, just managed to, someone came um, level with me, like, and I just managed to, to burn, like, burst clear, put a, put a, um, I, I, you know, I've, I've sprint finish, which I'm very much renowned for in the park when at Delamere, no one's ever outdone me in a sprint finish to the finish on the home stretch. And, uh, you know, I put in a good burst for the line and then I was very happy to just click the 140. Um, because anyone who understands my training um, regime with training for, for, for strength to build muscle as well, as well as um, running. Running is actually only a quarter of me training because it takes a lot of a lot of training to train the whole body. You know your your arms with your, your back, biceps, triceps, your deltoids, your traps, you know shoulders, your, your chest, your abs. There's a lot of a lot of time goes into you know your legs as well as your back. There's a lot of time goes into you know building muscle in, in all them areas. But I'm making sure that I only train for muscle definition rather than size by training in high reps by lifting about say 80% of me one rep max, um, so I don't I don't go too I don't go big, which would um, be a big you know obviously a, but basically the more I strength train the more weights I lift, the more it'll handicap me be a disadvantage in um, the longer distance whatever I go. It's not too much of a disadvantage in um, say a five K but um definitely in you know ten K and further half marathon to carry the extra to carry the you know really you want to be about eight eight stone, nine stone. You know, for the longer distance you go, the lighter you the lighter you, you need to be to do well. I mean, my me best distance really with running is middle distance, but there's no races unless you join an, an athletics club, which I've always been reluctant to do because I, I think to choose that, do it around my working life and, you know, keep up with everything with a gym and an athletics club. You know, one one handicap in the other. I kind of choose, you know, prioritise the gym and that. So I'd, I'd never... Um, be wanting to join an athletics club, but if 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 um, unless I gave up the weight training, so but over say eight hundred meters, um, fifteen hundred meters and three k and more, you know, my times are more impressive over that distance, which I always do week in week out on the treadmill in the gym because it's I find it better to do them in the gym, whereas to do that outdoors is too many just to to do that outdoors say. You don't want to be able to do the 800 metres like somewhere like down the road. You, if you get a distraction, hold you up for a couple of seconds, it's going to ruin the whole run. They'll do that on a treadmill. You know, so just the middle distance run. I do the middle distance on the treadmill, the long distance outside. Like, so, um, so, so every time I lift the weight, it'll disadvantage with the run. And this is, this is the challenges of being a hybrid athlete. And then every time, um, every time, I, the longer, the more running I do, the more miles I'll run, the more it's a disadvantage with your weight training because you're going to lose your gains in the end. Once again, middle distance, it's fine for carrying a bit of muscle, but if we're going to start running or half marathons, like, you know, run, running long distances, your body's going to burn muscle as well as fat. So it's kind of, Getting the balance right, thinking you know a happy, you know a happy medium, thinking this is where I want to be on both, maintaining them, and every time I do one, it'll bring the other down, but to kind of keep keeping you know smashing through the 